Um, so our tip of the week is going to be the attribute manager and how we can import and export building materials and composite. So when we want to import our or export our building material, and we might want to do this because you have set everything up in this one project that's perfect, but uh-oh, it wasn't your master template. Um, but I want to make sure all of the hard work that I did to customize all of these lives within your master template. We can export all of our surfaces, all of our building materials, our composites. We can export those to be then brought back into your template or whatever other file you want to use those in. So to do that, we work with the Attribute Manager. It lives under our Options menu, and then you go down to Attribute Manager. And you can see within our Attribute Manager, we have a lot of different options up here, okay? From here, we can manage our layers, our pin sets, our lines, our fills, our surfaces, our building material, our composites, our beam or complex profiles, and everything else that's up there. So by clicking on one of these icons within the Attribute Manager, it's going to give you the list of everything in your project for that is in that specific category. I really use this when I am auditing projects. The more materials that you have, the longer these lists are, the harder it is to use your project. You take a lot more time looking. It really bogs down how everybody is using ARCHICAD for the project when they have to take longer and longer to look. So I use these when I'm auditing, looking at just how everything within the project is being managed. And the important thing to note here is these little check boxes here. These check boxes are telling us if that building material is being used in ARCHICAD right now. So if we have a long list of fills that are not being used in something, they're not assigned to anything, um, we can purge those out of ARCHICAD. And now let's say for these fills that we're looking at here, we want to export all of them, some of them, you click the fill, and then you click the append oh, uh, button here. And that's going to copy the fill from this side over to this side. Now this list on the right-hand side here is showing what we're going to export or what we're going to import. And then to export or import those things, we use the icons here. You can also manage um, adding new attributes by duplicating a fill or a surface and then going back into the fill or surface um, dialog box and then specializing those there. We can delete certain items. And then this is also where we can bring things in. And again, that would be the import export button up here. It would show you the list of what you're actually bringing in. And then you would, the buttons here would change so that the arrows are pointed to the left, meaning you're going to bring them over into your project. So a good way to think of it is this is what's in your project. This is what's going to be going out of or coming into your project. This really helps keep things graphically clean between projects. I always like to see firms and companies that are keeping their graphics consistent from project to project. So that way you can take a lot, you can take advantage of quick glances. You look at a wall and its fill or its building material is the same as wall, you know, 100 in a previous project, you're just gonna automatically know what that is. So this really helps keep your graphic standards from project to project. <laughs>